really optimal for combating anabolic resistance. Why? Because as I mentioned before in the opening, we how, how many times can we actually lift a one or two pound weight, even if we're injured? Probably a ton. But luckily for us, we can leverage blood flow restriction to be able to reduce the time needed or the amount of repetitions needed to be able to stimulate muscle growth. And that's what the evidence really shows, which is really cool, is that when we compare muscle growth in a failure-based routine, we get largely equivocal results unless the load is very light, like less than 15% of the one rep max. Um, we, we would expect that the hypertrophy is very similar between BFR and low intensity without BFR, except that it takes about 33 to 66% less repetitions to get to that level. And for us as physical therapists, that's a huge, huge thing because now we can maybe fit in two or three different exercises where if we were really truly trying to push our clients to the level of exertion needed to stimulate muscle growth without BFR, it would take us 10 minutes. You know, How many times can you just do this? with a no pound weight or one pound weight or bicep curls, a ton.